I'm just continuing um, my nettle video and just stopped it so I can upload again because I had so much to say. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about chlorophyll. So chlorophyll is the colour in green plants and it's, you know, part of the reason that so many um, springtime tonics and greens good for us. Uh, chloros means um, the colour, which is pale green, and phylon means leaf. So chlorophyll relates to the green colour in the leaf and the leaves convert energy from the sun. The sun, there you are behind the cloud. Um, and basically, yeah, it converts energy from the sun and the universe into the plant. So in that way, that energy from the sun is brought into our bodies. Um, so chlorophyll is a sort of, you know, there's different types of chlorophyll and different kinds of green pigments that absorb generally blue and red light. And um, there's cycles of chlorophyll production um, and senescence, which is actually rest, or even when um, certain trees and plants lose their leaves. The chemical components of chlorophyll are chlorines, which are um, quite related in molecular shape, shape to polyphorins found in our haemoglobin. But in, in plants, the central feature is magnesium and in plant and NARS, the central feature is iron. Chlorophyll promotes the production of both red and white blood cells. It's an antioxidant. It promotes wound healing. It helps with um, protecting us from being stinky, from bad breaths, from, um, from sort of the sweat under our arms. And also, you know, some chlorophyll is so good at even protecting from smells and things like colostomy bags. They're, they're that sort of anti, anti odorant. Um, chlorophyll protects our skin and our hair, and it's cooling. So if we have like, you know, acne or eczema or sort of um, red split veins, chlorophyll helps those conditions. And it's generally very cooling and cleansing. So it's just one aspect of plant chemistry. Obviously, plants have many chemicals, but I think chlorophyll is really important to talk about because most plants are green and our veggies are often green. So it's good to know a bit about your greens.